from where the pharmacovigilance has evolved. Hannah's death. Hannah Greener was supposed to have a surgery to treat her ingrown toenail. Dr. Magician, the surgeon administered chloroform to her anesthetic. After the first incision, she jerked. So surgeon decided to administer more chloroform. Two to three minutes later, she turned pale and didn't respond to water dashed to her face. It was then confirmed that she was collapsed due to excess chloroform inhalation. Thalidomide tragedy. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, thalidomide was widely used drug in 46 countries for the treatment of nausea in pregnant women which resulted in biggest man-made medical disaster ever with more than 10,000 children born with severe birth defects. In 1961, the medication was withdrawn. Act showing incautious nature of patients about drugs. Here comes the story one. Mr. Sanjeev, a sales manager, newly diagnosed as Caesar, was on anti-epileptics. After a few days, he develops a itchy rash on his hand, where he perceived it as a sun rash and ignores it. On the very next day, the rash is spread out all over his body, which was witnessed by his brother. Moving on to the second story, Mrs. Sangeeta Vijay, a hard-working woman who had severe body pains, was on OTC medications for years. She makes a call to her daughter to get the painkillers from pharmacy. Without consulting the physician, she takes the medication. Here comes the third story. Mr. Manjunath had comorbid condition visits to hospital for follow-up. Doctor on examination and investigation changes the prescription. Because of the busy schedule, physician explains it quickly where the patient was unable to understand and leaves the hospital in confusion. Later gets his medication from pharmacy and returns home. He takes four tablets instead of three tablets in confusion. After a few hours, he feels dizzy. No by his friend. Here are some ways to improve public participation in pharmacovigilance. First one, if a clinical pharmacist was present in hospital, then Mr. Sanjay would have been gained enough knowledge about his medications and its side effects from a clinical pharmacist in prayer, which would have helped him for the early detection of ADR in the very first rash he noticed and was being helpful in the management of drug and its adverse effects. Pharmacovigilance cell was existed in pharmacy, then Mr. Sangeeta Vijay would have been approached to pharmacovigilance cell in pharmacy where the clinical pharmacist was able to identify the drug abuse of painkillers and counsel her on avoidance of NSAIDs and proper usage of drugs. Drug information centers were available, then Mr. Manjana could have approached to clinical pharmacist in DIC to clarify his query on how to use the medications. Then the clinical pharmacist would have been explained in a right way about the proper usage of drugs and the irrational drug use could have been prevented. For better patient safety, robust pharmacovigilance training programs for healthcare professionals will reduce under-reporting of ADRs and helps in generating a signal. Educating the medical and paramedical students by including a course subject on PV in their academics will improve the PV activities. Regular meetings with healthcare professionals and pharmacovigilance staff will enable to explore the new innovative methods to improve the pharmacovigilance in India and collaborate with each other to conduct regular public health programs in villages to encourage the public participation in pharmacovigilance activities. In order to increase the involvement of public in PV activities, a community pharmacist after dispensing the medicine should educate the public about the use of telecommunication and phone connectivity like toll-free numbers, patient education apps, alert cards and websites for reporting of ADR. Healthcare professionals should motivate the patients or public to report an adverse drug events observed by them by creating a professional relationship with patients and their representatives. It is important to create an ADR reporting forms in vernacular languages to increase the public participation in pharmacovigilance.